Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So a few things here today in the news. Uh, I know this is from yesterday, possibly even the day before XRP could theoretically be used in domestic payment transfers via the US's HCH system, says Uphold CEO. I know Alex Cobb covered this, not going to touch on that. I will link it in the description if you guys are interested in reading the article. Another headline here, uh, the first bank using XRP says Ripple partnership will create a new era of innovative payments. Um, and this is with regards to the Euro Exim Bank. Now, we all know when banks start to use this tech, they love it. They see the benefits. They need to just be able to try it out, use it, understand it. And I feel like the smaller banks will get that first. They will get it and they will benefit from it before the bigger banks will. And the reason for that is bureaucracy, decision making at the top, board of directors, all that stuff. As you can imagine, it is way easier to get things done when the organization is smaller, less people making decisions at the top, right? When you don't have to answer to shareholders necessarily. I was talking about Euro XM Bank the other day and somebody was telling me how it wasn't that big of a bank. And so I get that. It's not so much the size of the bank that is important in this crucial first step. As banks start using RippleNet, we will eventually see a cascade effect take place. Here's a tweet from Stephen Dieppe. Uh, Major banks will be late adopters of XRP because their structure is too large to have quick changes. For them, moving to a completely new system is like replacing a jet engine during flight. It is logical to see small and agile banks being the early adopters. So a very wise man, that Stephen Dieppe. Um, and I agree, we're not going to see massive banks all at once just kind of change their infrastructure and change their systems. It's going to take time and one day we will be surprised. Next up, XRP Classic. What? A new coin has surfaced on Twitter in major cryptocurrency ranking website CoinMarketCap. And this is just regarding this new XRP Classic, which a lot are deeming a scam coin. I couldn't even find it on CoinMarketCap. I had to go to CoinGecko to find XRP Classic. And it's trading for 0 0.00000008 cents if you guys are interested. No, 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 don't buy this. Seriously, seriously, don't buy this. I'm not a financial advisor, but, but seriously, don't buy this. <laughs> Okay. Okay. This is a lot of people are saying this is a scam coin and it, and it certainly looks like it. When you go to the website here, you go to home or, uh, and what are they doing? The future is our XRP classic. We're industrial, we're industrial solution. We believe in the importance of a decentralized future. That's why we want to bring the blockchain to the 99.99%. They've got a white paper, which I am not going to read. We've made a life that will change you. We are here to listen from you, deliver excellence. Wow, sounds very professional. Um, services, here are some of the services they offer. Our services to you, automotive engineering, construction and engineering, and in industrial engineering, maintenance, residential service, commercial service. Uh, and then this is my favorite here. Enjoy our clients' feedback. Not to mention that they ripped off Ripple's logo altogether. And we have Fanny Rowe, uh, who, who gives it three stars and four stars and five stars with the same accessories here you can find the best computer accessory for your laptop monitor print it's the same comment monitor printer scanner speaker here you can find the best computer accessory for your laptop monitor printer scanner speaker wow they it is like they didn't even try to make this look legitimate nevertheless I'd say let's pass on XRP Classic. Let's get back to the real XRP and what they are doing. Um, Santander Bank praises Ripple's payment network and says it defeats the competition. And I believe this was tweeted out by Rachel Lee originally. I don't have her Twitter on here. I always like to give people credit when I find things on Twitter. Ripple's products are becoming more and more appreciated by the big players in the financial industry in 2019 as well. 2018 was a successful year and this one announces to be even more one pay FX brings faster speeds than other competitors. And Banco Santander just reported that Ripple Power Payments application one pay FX is offering its customers the ability to send cross-border transactions as much faster speeds compared to the competitors in the field. Now Santander, 
I believe is a anomaly. They are a bigger bank and they have just jumped right in. Uh, OnePay FX, they created that app so that their customers can transfer value very, very quickly amongst each other. And so the future is here, guys. They saw a problem. They needed to solve it right away. I believe that the um, CEO of Santander, her, her grandfather, I think, started the bank. And she said that I saw my son on his smartphone and he was sending money to his friends via TransferWise. And she thought to herself, my grandfather built this company, you know, this this huge bank, you know, great legacy for the family. And my son is using TransferWise on his phone. Something obviously doesn't add up. And so she looked into it. They realized that their payment systems weren't efficient. They came up with OnePayFX. They partnered with Ripple. Now they're using XRP and the rest is history. So just goes to show you that, you know, if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything, big banks. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. One last thing here I wanted to mention, uh, Crypto Penny Co, that's at Crypto Penny Co, C-O, posted this. Never look at Ripple for what it is today. Always assume they are multiple steps ahead at any given time. They are very intelligent people coordinating our world and nothing is made public before it is meant to. And so this is a Steemit article from six months ago regarding the Ripple and Amazon partnership. And the reason I say it's from six months ago is because we heard about this back way back when and nothing happened. Well, nothing happened in terms of optics. Nothing we saw in front of us happened necessarily. But that's not to say that there aren't things happening behind the scenes. To my point earlier, and I finally saw this tweet, thought to myself, yeah, people have got to realize that. There are a lot of things going on behind the scenes that Ripple is just not telling the public. They're going to tell their partners, they're going to tell uh, their investors, but they have no obligation to tell us anything. They are only giving us information when their clients are comfortable releasing information. So we know that. Brad has said that specifically in the last AMA he did in December. And so we have to assume they are always several steps ahead. So when you're hearing all this amazing news coming out, the news that's really brewing is even better than what we're seeing. Um, so just with regards to this, six months ago, Ripple Amazon partnership, uh, didn't read this whole thing, but then when I read down here, when will the partnership be announced publicly? Before March 2019. So guys, is this the last time we'll be able to fill our XRP bags? At ultra, ultra low prices, an Amazon partnership would be big. We know that volume is needed to rise the price of XRP. And who's one of the largest online retailers? We definitely know Amazon's in the rankings. But I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.